Hey guys, welcome to another video. This time I'm gonna do, you know, the, the video that I promised that I would do in the, you know, the last on my uh, how to beat Margot in 30 seconds. This is the entire, you know, the entire thing from new game to items to getting to Margot. This will take around 25 minutes, something like that. And I'm gonna show you everything you need to catch to, you know, make that strategy possible. I actually found a way to do it even faster, so it's not 100% exactly the same as I showed you in the, that video. But it's just to make this video shorter. It still works, don't worry. We're gonna get this done. So uh, start a new game. And um, you're gonna pick the um, Samurai class here. Choose your name, doesn't matter, we're gonna go with GG, but this is important. Keepsake, you're gonna need a Lands Between rune, because it's gonna give you 3000 runes, and you're gonna need them to buy a few stuff uh, in a, a few minutes. So, um, because this is, you know, this is still kind of a long video, and, uh, you know, the people watching this might be, you know, someone that never played this game and want to learn things about the game, and because there will be a lot of walking, and uh, riding the horse, in other words, there will be a lot of time where nothing happens. And uh, I will talk about, you know, things that you might not know about this game, or in, in case this is your first playthrough, I'm gonna try teaching you a few things as I play along. And um, yeah, we can start with this, this will be your first mandatory, your first boss, not your first mandatory boss, lol. And, you don't need to fight it. <laughs> you can just kill yourself and uh, move on. Uh, you don't have... You, this doesn't bring you back, so you don't have to fight it again. You can just kill yourself and move on with the game. Um, and now just skip this, and this is the Flasks of Chrism Tears and the Flask of Cerulean Tears. I don't know, that's kind of hard to say. <laughs> anyway, one of them is to... Um, heal to restore your health and the other one is to restore your FP in case you don't know what FP is is that blue bar there and um, you can use that for magic and stuff like that and uh, yeah anyway you're gonna use your lens between rune here and you're gonna take it off from your equipment because the least things down here that you have the better um, so yeah Red flask, restore health, blue flask, restores FP. And um, this is the first grace you're gonna get, because we're gonna return here later. I will explain as we move along. That will be... that can be your first boss if you want to. Um, but I do not recommend. <laughs> he will be one of the hardest bosses here in Limgrave and at this point you're extremely under level to go fight him. Which I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people quit this game right after fighting him. <laughs> uh, thinking that it would be normal to fight him. Okay, so this is a smithing stone. This is what you use to level up your um, weapons. And uh, we're gonna need 12 of them. This is our first. So, 11 still missing. Huh? Genius. I can do math. <laughs> okay, anyway, now we're gonna get our beloved horse and we're gonna have our first chat with Melina. Try not to aggro these dudes, just stay away from them or they can chase you for a very long time. And um, since we're gonna get here to get the horse, I can also start talking about pouches. Uh, it's actually funny because when I finished my first playthrough I did not know what pouches were for. I could not figure out by myself. But, uh, you know, someone explained me and now I know what they're for. Um, and they're very useful actually. Um, I'm gonna tell you in a second what they are used for. But basically, like, you have in the bottom left corner, you know, these two flasks. And if you keep adding items there, it's just gonna be very confusing for you to get the thing that you want. So, pouches are like a replacement for that. So I put one, the horse here, and the memory of a grace on the other side. And if you press triangle and up, it will bring the horse. And if you press triangle and right, 
uh, it's gonna use the memory of, of a grace. The memory of a grace, what it does, it's, it's gonna take you back to the last grace uh, where you just sit at. And um, the, the thing is, you're gonna lose all of your runes, okay? So be careful when you use that, um, but it's very useful. Here you have a golden seed, which will give you one more healing. At this point you have three flasks for healing and by using a golden seed this is where you use it we're not gonna use it we're not gonna we don't need it but it's in here in the lost grace where you use them to instead of three getting four healings so just sit and there's like a an option to to level up that from three to four anyway we're gonna go up here we don't actually need to go up here but there's an item here it, again, it's not necessary for this fight, but since we it's on the way, uh, you can always catch it. This um, this can only be used much later, because you need another flask where you can use this. It's basically something to buff. You can buff your attack, your defense, your magic, something like that. And now this is... Um, you're, you're gonna have to kill that knight over there because he's gonna give you Golden Vow and that's one of the most important items in this game. So you can kill this guy by jumping and attacking and then do t two unsheds and that will make him fall and you can finish him off on the floor, R1, and it's done. Sometimes, the, for some weird reason, you're not gonna... J I don't know, you're gonna press to jump from the horse and sometimes he doesn't jump, I don't know why that happens. But, yeah, it's not, it's not very complicated. And so now you have Golden Vow, which uh, you will be able to equip later. And come here, get this Exalted Flesh. This is like a consumable that will make you do more damage. Actually, a lot more damage. And there's a second one here. If you go through the right here and up, there's a dude up over there, the one that is just talking now. <laughs> And if you talk to him, he will give you a, a second one. So I would recommend going, going there. We're not gonna go because the, we're gonna kill Margit first try, so we don't need it. But you're gonna need this. Like, this is a, another smithing stone. And um, then you're gonna stop here and you're gonna buy more smithing stones. See, this guy sells you three. And you also buy the short sword. And the reason why you bite the short sword is it, it's because it's going to become the same you use for um, Golden Vow, which is the buff that will allow you to do more damage. Um, but that is for later. We cannot do that now. Uh, another important thing, since we're here, here on the left there are three uh, flowers, as you just saw. Those are called, uh, I think it's Trina Lilies or something like that, and they are very, very useful for... Um, for a few bosses, because if you combine that with uh, s mushrooms and a certain cookbook, I believe... I, d I actually don't know if it's this one. This one here is a cookbook. I'm not gonna catch it because it's not necessary for this strategy. But the mix of the cookbook plus the, um, the Trina's Lilies and... Um, and the mushrooms will allow you to do sleeping pots, which will m make a some bosses fall asleep. And uh, it is especially, especially <laughs> um, necessary to have that for a certain duo boss. Uh, if you already played this game, you surely know who I'm talking about, but I don't want to spoil a surprise in case this is your first playthrough and you're watching this. Uh, so I will not mention that, but try and catch those three flowers and that cookbook. Again, I can be wrong, I'm not sure if that's the, the cookbook, but it might be. <laughs> I do speedruns and I always catch it, so I, I think it must be that one. Okay, but anyway, in here you're gonna go to your inventory and you're gonna use these three uh, runes, because we're gonna use the teleport in a little bit and you wanna lose as least runes as possible. So you're gonna level up your dexterity here to 18 and you're only gonna stay with 193 runes, which is very little. So you're gonna go back here to the beginning of the game, the first step, because we're gonna catch our uh, remaining um, six 
smitting stone so we can level up our weapon to a plus three later. And this is very necessary. Um, also, I just caught a sacred tear in that last grace, which is something that you're gonna use to, um, like, every time you heal, instead of healing, like, by example, 15%, you're gonna be able to heal, like, 20, something like that. It's basically a way to increase your healing. Um, here, you gotta be a bit careful here where you fall, because you might actually die. But it is possible to fall without dying, as you just saw. And I also caught a flask of... Wondrous Physics. So, we don't need it again for this fight, so I'm just gonna remove it. But this is also very important. Because it's another thing that people use to buff to do more damage. Um, and you can only kind of use it when you're at the grace as well. So I will not explain that in here in this video, it's not important, we're not going to use it. But in the grace, in the options, it's it's very easy to figure out what to do. So here we're going to catch 6, it will be 3 here. Try to do this fast, because as soon as you catch the materials, they will chase you right away. And they do a lot of damage, so be careful. Catch and run away, adios. We have 3 now, we need another 3. And here we're going to actually not go all the way down to the elevator. Just look back, don't forget this, look back and prepare to jump. Because these, uh, the ones you have here are much easier to catch. So we have two really easy ones to catch. One. And uh, the second one now. And there will be a sir down here. And it's super easy to catch. Not only that, but it's also... Oh, okay, that was completely unexpected. I'm sorry guys, I just have to... Wait, what? Okay, well, forget it, doesn't matter. This was... this is very strange, this was not supposed to happen. But anyway, this is a boss here, if you want to fight him, and this will be your last smitting stone. Catch it, and uh, we're gonna teleport out of here. Because we have all that is necessary. And... Um, you can go outside because you cannot teleport inside the tunnels, I think so. <laughs> I'm almost sure about that. So you need to go out. So take the elevator, go out. And um, now we're going to go to the tricky part of this. You're going to go um, to gate front. And this will be the hard part. Actually, this is the hard part, not Margaret. Because uh, you're going to fight an NPC that can be um, a bit annoying. And by the way, there's also a map here. You know, this is your first map. It doesn't show you the entire region, but it shows uh, a little bit at least. And you're gonna follow this direction. There's this big... Um, I don't know if this is like a, a sword or something. I don't know. Just go here, follow this. And we're actually gonna catch a grace here. We don't need it, but it's just... You know, you might die on the NPC, and in, in case you die, it's uh, it's not that far. Um, so we're gonna fight an NPC, and then we're gonna fight a boss. And um, the NPC is a lot harder than the boss, and I have to tell you right now, because you cannot kill the boss, okay? This is something that you cannot do, or you're gonna destroy the entire strategy, because it's... Uh, when he reaches 50% health, he will stop fighting, and so should you, because uh, you're gonna need to buy an item from him. So here you can fall, don't worry. Every time you see those wind things, you can fall down, don't worry, you're not gonna die. Um, and um, now our... okay, so we can also put the short sword here. You're gonna need to put that over there in the equipment for later and this NPC like you can actually wait if you just run away from him sooner or later someone will show up to help you so it's up to you if you don't want to fight him you can just wait and you will have help I'm gonna try to kill it myself but as you can see someone just showed up fucking hell 
Right, man, he healed. God damn it. Oh my god. Someone is coming to hate me. Oh man. God annoying dude. Okay, he's trying to heal, but he has no more healings. And as you can see, someone is coming to help me. He is incredibly slow though. <laughs> he's, fuck, he's very useless. And uh, yeah, he's fighting the air now. Thank you for nothing. <laughs> but he, he actually gives you a really, really cool weapon, the Reduvia. I think you're probably really gonna like this. But enter this cave. Catch the grace, because you can actually die to the boss. And um, you're gonna take... You're just gonna ignore the enemies here. Don't worry, we're super close from the boss fight. Just go here on the right after these bushes. And um, we're gonna fight a very famous boss for you know people that have played Dark Souls and Bloodborne. And uh, But to activate the fight you actually need to catch this. And if you see up there, he's gonna show up from there. A good way to actually you know, deal with this guy is which is kind of waiting for him to do a, this. Uh, he does this attack where he spits at you like this. You can just ignore and, and go for it. And as you just saw, like, I took 50% of his health. And now he's just gonna sit there like a coward. So do not kill him. Just wait for it. And he's gonna do some talking with you. And you will have one option, two options. I mean, you can forgive him or not, and, but you're just gonna choose forgive. Um, what, okay, this was a bit strange. Normally, okay, forgive and forget. Okay, you're gonna say forgive and forget. I was getting worried there now. <laughs> Let's do all the dialogue. I'm not sure if it's there's okay. Okay, I think everything is done. And then catch this to teleport outside. But you're gonna have to come here again. So that's what we're gonna do right away. Because we're gonna buy from him Margaret's Shackle. Which is the most important item for you to fight um, Mr. Margaret. Which is the item that puts him on the ground without being able to move. And there's one thing that's you need to know about Margaret's Shackle. I mean, if you haven't saw my other video, you can only use it on first phase, okay? So if you miss the strategy and you go into second phase, Margaret's Shackle becomes useless. So you're gonna... You're gonna use these um, two runes and that will be enough for you to have your 5,000. And... Um, yeah, it's actually pretty expensive. So you're gonna get your Margaret Shackle now. Purchase 5,000 and we can get out of here. But you're gonna go here first. I will explain in a second. This will teleport you to another place. Every time you get caught by this, this kind of things, you cannot teleport to, to other graces, I believe. So unless you find another grace. And that's what we're gonna do now. And the reason why I came here, um, and this is a very scary place, we're surrounded by <laughs> the hardest enemy in, this, in the game, these bears do not engage with them, they are <laughs> really, really hard to kill. So you just want to come here in the middle of the lake and catch this, it's a golden rune, and then just ignore this bear and just go in this direction, and as you can see the grace is right there. And you can sit on the grace and um, get out of this <laughs> scary place and uh, without having to deal with any of the bears. You need to sit down though to be able to teleport. And uh, now we're gonna go in here, Storm Hill Shack. And we're gonna go to get our final grace, which will teleport us to Roundhound Table, I think that's the name. It's the place where you can level up your weapons and, you know, insert Golden Vow on your weapon and stuff like that. So um, just come here, through the right of this, um, this uh, structure here, and um, this will take you to a bridge. 
and uh, I would not recommend like how can I say this 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 is almost like um, a way to get to the second level of the game let's call it like that you, if you see this woman here on the right you're you know you're going on the right side but this is like kind of the second area of the game not here but a little more to the front and you're gonna die very easily if you get there first I would definitely recommend fighting Margit and go inside the castle and do all of you know all there is to do inside the castle first before you come here okay but this is this is in a way a shortcut to to get to your second let's call it second like I said it's not there's this, this is not levels but I would say this is like the second area of the game in a in a certain way but we actually need to come here to activate uh, a certain conversation with Melina that will uh, trigger we going to the round on table at least this is the the fastest way i know uh, if there's a faster way you can tell me in the comments i also like to learn <laughs> new things so um, if you do you can always share in the comments so um now let's um talk to her and we're getting close to the end after this, we're actually gonna go fight Margit. We have all that is needed. It's just uh, executing, you know, all the steps of the, um, the strategy. And hopefully I do not make any mistake. <laughs> and we can get uh, this video on YouTube for you guys to watch. <laughs> okay, anyway, go forward. You can like just jump and it's on the right side of this dude go here and you have the blacksmiths and um, this is where you level up your weapon you can also sell and actually I'm gonna sell all my runes here don't sell the exalted flesh do not sell it <laughs> and we're gonna level up our weapon to plus three and we're gonna use our ashes of war in the short sword which is the golden vow okay and now we're gonna teleport back here Stormhill shack and basically we are ready not ready there's still one thing missing but it's it's next to the boss it's so um or we could have have done it here in this grace we're basically gonna use this this you know runes that we still have to level up just one more point and and you should do it like the more points you have the more damage you're gonna do so do it so come here to the left you can avoid everything here because there's a lot of enemies here and this guy throwing stuff at you just ignore it. just keep going and catch the grace and sit down on the grace because it will make all the enemies that are chasing you go away and over there in the front you have mr margaret which probably made a lot of people quit this game <laughs> so um you're gonna level up dexterity to 19 and you're good to go so now before we actually start the fight we're gonna equip everything that we need and then we're, we're gonna do the strategy so you want to remove this you don't need that and you want to put exalted flesh and you want to put uh, Margaret's shackle so I would remove healing because if the strategy works you're gonna do this first try but it's it's totally up to you it just makes it easier to you know change between these things and by the way let me see the time we got here with 21 minutes guys 21 minutes and you got everything that you need to destroy Margaret uh, without getting hit without having to dodge a single attack now let's just do the strategy and uh, let's finish him off <laughs> okay so you have every item you need here flask of certain tears oh wait I wait guys wait I'm missing one thing man that I almost forgot I would have to do this video again let's not fail this you actually need to go here and go to flasks and allocate flask charges and you need two of the blue ones okay because you're gonna want to restore your FP yes, because by using golden vow it uses FP and you want to have 100% when you enter the fight okay so you're gonna use golden vow here you're gonna restore your FP you're gonna use exalted flesh 
you're gonna put Margaret's shackle, you're gonna put, you know, the weapon in two hands, and um, let's finish him off. Margaret's shackle, three inch heads. Drink the FP. Use Margaret's shackle again. One, two, three. R1, repost, and finish him off with another unshed. It's done. <laughs> First try, no damage, no uh, dodging, no nothing. And you are gonna get 12,000 souls, which uh, will allow you to level up many, many times. And basically that's it guys, that's the strategy, that's all the items you need, I, uh, in case you're a new player I hope I help also learning a little bit about this game. Uh, I'm so glad this is finally done, this actually failed a few times, <laughs> but yeah this is how you do it, uh, Margaret dead, 23 minutes, and uh, I hope I helped in case you were struggling with Margaret or this is the first time you're playing the game. Uh, anyways, stay well, and if you like this video, subscribe please, it would be super cool, and I see you guys on the next video. Adios!